This is a matchup of the big fellas and the young fellas, Marcus Camby. And then from Maryland, yeah, that Joe Smith guy. Watch the slam tip. The two freshmen carrying their clubs. Then X re hip back into the U. Terps by six midway through the first. UMass answers. Mike Williams, he struggled with only 13 Minutemen by five at the break. Second half. Let's get some more Marcus involved. The rejection of Johnny Rhodes. And Marcus runs the floor. Love a big man who can fly. A career high 32. Then Maryland goes on a run of its own. Hip had 19. Terps beginning to turn it around. And then Joe, Joe Smith. Two of his team high 20. An 18 to three run. They couldn't contain him inside. Late in the game. UMass lets one get through its hands. And Hip finishes. Finishes the game, finishes UMass. What a great team effort for Maryland. Everyone on the team that scored, scored at least 10. The Terps hit the threes, made eight of 10. UMass three of 14 after the game. Oh, uh, who needs Weber? We got you on, Howard. The turnaround, the jump hook, the reverse lay-in. He hit everything. Three straight at one point. Oh, look out. Come on, get up. Albert Burdett, the monster alley-oop. He had only eight in the hook of horns. They're up by six. Juwan. Doing the damage against the former Wolverine, Rich McIver. Michigan by one. By the way, Howard, a career high 34. Jalen, strips, Jimmy King. Oh. Are they pleased on the sideline? Michigan by six. Look out for B.J. Tyler. The leaner that goes, and he gets hit. It's a one-point Michigan lead. Prayer time, nervous time, don't call time. 35, oh, it's off the leg of Anderson. Whew, Jimmy King's dad lives to see another game. Michigan wins it. Free throws, so important in the tourney. The Wolverines make 10 of 11 down the stretch. This was only the second loss in 21 games for Texas. So kidding, don't yell at me, Carl. First half, Syracuse attacking the ball. Lucius Jackson, the block. Adrian Autry, trailer, John Wallace. Orange by 11 at the half. Second half, the fighting Phoenix. Watch the passing, Jeremy Ludvigson. Lead down to one. Then with under 40 to play, Syracuse by four. Ben Berlowski drives. Shot goes. No. Offensive foul. No hoop. Jimmy Beheim agrees. Syracuse advances. Loris Moten, 17 points, eight boards, three steals, and four blocks. Adrian Autry joins Sherman Douglas as the only Orangeman to record 1,500 points and 600 assists. Griffith, Marlo Finner. And the foul, Tigers up 10 early. Griffith riding the bench with three quick first half fouls. With Griffith out, Missouri works the middle. Paul Olenny, right down the pipe, Tigers by 16. What about Michael Finley? Keeps the Badgers close. A career high 36 points for Finley. Wisconsin within four first half, but then Melvin Booker. Book it, Dano, he took over. Career high 35, Missouri moves on. Two teams combined for an NCAA record 27 three-pointers in a tournament game. Booker was 11 of 14 from the floor with six threes. Stu Jackson said, wasted little time. Loses his man underneath, scores the hoop. He dominated the first half. Trailer and the slam. He had 20 in the first half. Talking some noise. Gene Katie's team up nine at the break. But Bama came back. Jamal Faulkner, oh, mercy. 25 points, Artie Griffin three, Bama actually led. But there's Glenn straight away, Purdue up a point. The lead continues to change hands. Faulkner converts the offensive rebound. Where's the big dog? He's running the floor. Purdue goes up a point. Crucial sequence here. Sean Pecklove fouls out and then argues and gets a tee. Purdue hits three free throws and that was it. Glenn Robinson, we call this, I guess, the exclamation point, Carl. Purdue continues on as they defeat Alabama. Glenn finishes with 33, but only six in the last 15 minutes as his teammates step it up. Gonzo Martin and Matt Waddell both score 11 for the game, and Waddell adds eight assists. Wake in Kansas, Dave Odom exhorting Randolph Childress in the troops' first half. Tim Duncan, the Bob Parrish move, and then more Duncan, the McHale move. 16 and 15 boards for Duncan. Roy Williams team down four at the half. Second half, Kansas on a run. Scott Pollard, the baby hook and the foul. It was Duncan's fourth, he had to sit. More Pollard, he scored 13 with eight boards. 
Kansas wins. Wake shot just 32% in the second half, 36 for the game. KU outscored the Demon Deacons 43-28 in the final 20 minutes. Steve Woodbury scores 18. Looking for that upset. Jerome Allen on fire, had 23 pin up five. Then the Gators come swarming back, and Andrew DeClerc is open underneath. He's open, and they get it to him. Florida up two at the half. Second half, it's the Gator guards. Yeah, Craig Brown got involved. So did Dan Cross, a team high 22. Then his backcourt mate Brown from behind the line. From behind the line. From he hit three of them. He scored 11, 52-43. They go on a roll from there as a team. The Quakers launched 37 three-point shots, hit only eight. Gators hit 46% from the field. Jerome Allen, the rest of the team now focus on the books. All have multi-page papers to hand in at the beginning of the week. Florida getting the winner of GW UConn, 6'10", Danielle Marshall, seven foot one inch, Inca Duray. Danielle striking first. Kevin Ollie had five assists. Marshall, 11 points, 11 minutes. Deron Sheffer, five assists as well. UConn up 11 early, but Yinka DeRay erupts. Nimbo Hammonds the miss. DeRay is there with nobody on him and no bodies on him. He had 19 and 12 boards. Then he powers his way in. Calhoun said DeRay was bigger than we thought. Then off the bench fair for three. Then it's Ray Allen, a 17-4 burst by the bench as Danielle doesn't score a field goal for 24 minutes. The Huskies collapsed on DeRay. That was the difference. No one else could hit a shot. For the game, the Colonials shoot 29%.